So, you've decided to start growing carnivorous plants. A wise choice. These will help you defend your house when zombies come. And if you already grow these plants, you most likely know this already. But did you know that the water you use could be preventing your plants from living to their full potential? Carnivorous plants should be watered using water low in minerals. What do I mean by this? In their natural environment, all carnivorous plants grow in soil that is devoid of most nutrients and minerals. All water contains some amount of minerals, which is what causes hard water stains like these, which may be a familiar sight. After the water evaporates, it leaves behind the minerals, which can build up in your plant's soil and slowly kill it. Watering your plants with water high in minerals is okay short term and won't kill them. It's better to water your plants with the wrong water rather than let them dry out. Plants outside in trays or high evaporation environments will be most affected due to the water being unable to run off. The more you water it with incorrect water, the more times it will evaporate, leaving behind more minerals. For carnivorous plants, it is best practice that the total dissolved solids of water used is below 50 parts per million. You can find out how many minerals are in your water by looking up your city's tap water. The water where I live is relatively hard, so I don't use my tap water. You can also use a TDS meter, which can be had for cheap on places like Amazon. If you can't use tap water, you can use distilled water, reverse osmosis water, and rainwater. Distilled water is better for smaller collections, as it can be bought at many stores, and buying a water distiller isn't practical. If your collection of carnivorous plants grows, it may be best to buy a reverse osmosis unit if you don't already have one. The one I use can be had for a reasonable price and is much cheaper than many other RO systems. It's called the RO Buddy. Rainwater can also be collected from roofs or rain gutters as long as they aren't treated with chemicals. Also, make sure to check the PPM of the water before you use it. It is best not to use the first rain of the season because of dirt and debris. If you have been watering your plants with water high in minerals for a long period, you can flush the soil with good water, which should be fine, but you can also repot your plant and use new soil. I hope this guide was helpful and happy growing.